going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video inside of GTA online and today I'm going to be showing you guys the KU Perico heist this is a very big jump cut from where we were but I just feel like we're not advancing far enough so I feel like the KO Perico heist is a very good way to do that so very first what we're gonna want to do is open up our map and go up to this H with a palm tree on it you're gonna want to mark that on your map and head over to it eventually this will start our beginning of the KO Perico heist once you head over to that green H you will go over to it go inside of this gated house walk over to the green halo click right on the d-pad and Miguel Madrazo which is Martin Madrazo's son he will tell you to come meet him and the way you find him is go to the music locker right next to the diamond casino once you arrive at the diamond casino you're gonna want to walk over to that music icon inside of this door eventually meeting Miguel Madrazo and this cutscene will play now he's gonna tell you that he needs a little help with something which is obviously the KO Perico heist he's gonna tell you that in order Order to start up the KO Perico heist, you're going to need this submersible called the Kasatka. Now, the Kasatka is very expensive, it's 2.2 million dollars. So, I'm just gonna go on an insane grind and just try to earn as much money as possible just by using the auto shop and the freak shop and all the other businesses we've acquired so far. Now, a quick and easy way to earn money is Fooligan missions, which I have not told you guys about yet, but I'm going to explain it right now. Fooligan missions can be started by calling Dax and requesting work once you request the work he will just basically give you a simple mission to do like take out some lost mc or deliver stuff and it's very self-explanatory so you can earn 50k from doing this so it's pretty easy i recommend you should do the full again missions if you're just looking to earn some quick extra cash so i will just be grinding and i'll see you guys when i am done all right it is actually the next day and as you can see i have my 2.2 million which i'm actually going to deposit into my bank account and then we can buy the Kasatka. In order to buy the Kasatka, you'll pull up your phone, go to internet, go to travel and transport, then war stock, then find the Kasatka, which should be right at the top. Once you click on the Kasatka, you can pick your color, you can pick your flag, you can also pick guided missiles and weapon workshop and moon pool vehicles, but those cost extra money and I obviously do not have enough for that. But it's fine, you can actually renovate this later if you really want to, meaning you can just save up money later to buy these upgrades. Once you buy it this man named Pavel will call you and basically tell you that you are the new owner and his captain and if you look in the top left it says go to your Kasatka to start the KO Perico heist as a boss you can also request the Kasatka nearby via the service vehicle section of the interaction menu now this is why in last video I told you guys to buy the attack chopper because the Kasatka is always in the ocean and sometimes very far away so the attack chopper is a great way to get to it and you can also land it on top of it so just find some way to get into your Kasatka once you summon it I just ended up swimming out there because I didn't have my attack chopper So I swam there and then once you get inside of it Which you can just hop on top of it and then go inside of this hatch This cutscene will play where Pavel basically tells you about the ship what you can do and basically all about it Now right off the bat the Kasatka has weapons such as these underwater explosives or torpedoes But those seem to be the only weapons on the ship in order to access the planning screen for the KO Perico heist you will go over to this green H inside of your submarine and then click right on the d-pad now when you are ready there is this thing you need to do where you basically scope out KO Perico Island and find out where the Madrazo files are and all sorts of extra loot you can get and entry points and basically everything you'll need in order to complete this heist now only do it when you're ready just because this mission does take kind of a long time but I'll guide you through it you will go to the airport and then you'll go over to the objective eventually this cutscene will play after the cutscene you will fly to KO Perico Island El Rubio the owner of the island will meet you there once you land you'll get inside of this car and drive El Rubio and Dave to the beach party here you can dance and do whatever you want but really you just have to wait until your partner tells you to go over to this gate and then eventually escape without any guards noticing now once you get out there will be guards and cameras all over the island so just do not get spotted by these people because they'll just throw you back to the beach party but really you have an infinite number of times you can do this once you are out you're gonna want to go over here and find some way to get over to this gate doesn't really matter just as long as you don't get spotted I will eventually put an in-depth guide and advanced guide out later coming very soon but for now I'm just going to speed through it because this video will take way too long if I go advanced guide so yes once you get through this gate here you'll go to the right so no one spots you and just kind of run through here this is definitely not the best way to do this because I did not 
not know how to actually do this when I first did it, but now I do. So when I make that advanced guide, it'll definitely be way more helpful. But anyway, you just basically have to find some way to get to the entrance of El Rubio's compound. Once you reach the entrance, which you don't have to go all the way to the entrance, but once you get far enough towards the entrance, you need to find this communications tower, which is a very tall tower. You need to go over to it and it looks just like this. Eventually, once you get close enough to the communications tower, you can climb it and then you'll have to find this signal box and just hack it. It's pretty easy and I'll just show you how to do it. So you'll click hack signal box. You're going to want to connect the five to this X on the bottom, the two over to this like weird shape cross thingy, and then the five over to this square with a line going through it. And that will make 59, which will eventually say connection successful. And what you can do here after that is you can look through all the security cameras and this is how you're going to find the Madrazo files. But every camera you search through, I want you to go from all the way left to all the way right or other way around because you can find some extra money and gold and things you can steal. You can also find things like entry points just to make it easier for you throughout the heist. Next, you're going to want to go over to these docks and search the docks for bolt cutters, but also make sure not to get caught. Once you've located the bolt cutters, which will be right here, or at least they were for me, you're going to want to pull out your phone and take a picture of them. Then send that to Pavel. Luckily, I sent it to Pavel right before I was caught, so I didn't need to worry about that anymore. Now, once this is complete, you can continue scoping out the island or return to Los Santos. We're not going to return to Los Santos quite yet. Anyways, once you get to those docks, instead of leaving, what you're going to want to do is find one of these like black boats here and drive it out to the ocean without getting caught. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to your map and mark this part on the map or somewhere around this area. After that, you're going to drive to it and this will basically take you to the drain gutter, which is a point of entry we're going to take and it's going to make this heist just a lot easier. You're gonna have to dive underwater and it won't take too long. So you don't have to have any special scuba gear on. So you're gonna dive down and once you find it, there will be a thing on the left which says you scoped a compound entry point drainage tunnel. You're gonna wanna make sure that that pops up when you find it, otherwise it's not gonna work. After this, you will get back into your boat and then you're gonna wanna mark this area on your map, which is also going to be another point of entry. It's going to be where we start and how we infiltrate Keo Perico. So it's basically just called the main docks and all you gotta do is just pull out your phone and take a picture of it and then send it to Pavel. Once you have finished with that, mark this area on your map, which is the airstrip. Once you have done that, you're going to sneak past this guard and then go over to this like warehouse thingy with red doors on it. You're gonna wanna go over to these gates, take pictures of this green stuff and this white stuff here and then send it to Pavel, but you can't do them both at the same time. You have to do it individually. This will make it so you have secondary loot that Pavel tells you to grab once you do the actual finale of the heist. This will just make it so you get so much more extra money. After that, go over here, climb on top of this box and then hop over the railing and then take a picture of both of these tables individually with the money and the green stuff. I'm pretty sure sometimes you'll have different loot at different times. So yeah, I just got the money and green stuff. After this, you're gonna wanna go out of there, head over to this place and head inside of this brown barn looking thing. And sometimes there will be loot in here, sometimes there won't, but there was for me. And you're just gonna wanna do the same thing. Just take a picture of both of them separately and then send it to Pavel. After this, you can leave Keo Perico Island, go back to Los Santos, you know, do whatever you want. Now, here we are going to do setups. Some of them are mandatory and some of them are optional. Now, setups are pretty easy. You're just gonna wanna head back to your submarine and then go over to this green H once again and click right on the D-pad. Once you have finished gathering intel, it'll say you can switch over to this other option called prep. Now, for the weapons, it's really just up to you, but for me, I went with the aggressor just because I think the shotgun there and the SMG there is very nice to use, when, especially when you're trying to just be sneaky. Also, it's almost just about mandatory to get suppressors for your weapons. So once you start that setup up, it'll tell you to go to the Penrose building. Once you arrive there, it will tell you to enter the office, but there will be guards. So you need to just be careful and take them out. But it does not really matter how many times you die because you get an infinite number of lives in this one. So it really doesn't matter. Once you enter this building, there will be many guards in there once again, but still you have infinite lives. So just do not be worried about this. Once you take all of them out, you need to find the gun safe. Once you find the gun safe 
it'll be locked so you need to hack the laptop now this hack is relatively straightforward you basically just have to look at the top find that same combination of numbers down with all these mixed up numbers it took me kind of a long time but once you find it it's pretty nice and then the hack should be over now once you finish the hack you're just going to want to go ahead and open that safe and then take the weapons out and leave the building then once you get out of the building you need to escape from these helicopters that will come after you and get back to the kasatka it doesn't really matter how you do it you just need to get back to the kasatka now on to the mandatory setups so do not get the demolition charges you will not be needing those so this one you need to acquire the safe code so you will eventually just go over to the diamond casino it doesn't matter how you get there so once you're inside you'll head over to this elevator and this mini cutscene will play taking you to the parking garage then you will need to search for tom connor's car which it just looks like this pave will eventually send you the license plate so then it'll be way easier to find once you pop it open you will steal the master key card and then you can go out of the parking garage the same way you came in and then it'll eventually bring you to the penthouse once inside the penthouse you will take out these guards it doesn't matter if you do it stealthily or just go all in but as long as they are taken out once you're done with that you need to find the room 518 once inside that room it'll be heavily guarded by tons of guards but i'm pretty sure you have infinite chances to do this so do not worry about it you need to find head of security take him out and then take whatever he has on him then exit the casino once you have left the casino you need to lose the police then once you do that if you took a helicopter i go back in then go back to the roof and get my helicopter back and then fly over to the kasatka now this next mandatory heist prep is the fingerprint cloner you need to get over to this warehouse break inside there will be four people there but they are pretty easy so do not worry about them once you take them out you need to go over to this laptop and hack it this hack is very easy you just basically need to time your taps right and then the hack will be over in no time once that is done you need to go over to the archive then shoot these cameras down then head inside this building once inside you need to find the fingerprint cloner once you have located the device you just need to exit the archive and head back to the kasatka this next setup is for the entry to Keo Perico Island once we start the heist and you can find it in approach vehicles it's just on the bottom here now if you didn't take a picture of the main docks then it will not show up but if you did, then it will show up and you can start it. What you'll do is go to Vespucci Police Station. Then eventually your partner in the Kasatka will tell you that there are these truck cabs. You need to collect one of them, then use it to head over to the Vespucci Police Station. Once you arrive to the police station, you need to steal the long fin with that truck cab and get out of there. Instead of just trying to escape the police because they'll tell you to do that, I recommend you just get out and blow yourself up. But make sure you're not too close to the truck cab because it will blow it up. This is the fastest way to escape the police and that's why i'm telling you to do this you will then drop off the long fin where it tells you to drop it off after that you need to head back to the kasatka and for the final setup for this run is going to be the cutting torch this will be used to get inside the drain gutter we scoped out earlier what you'll do is fly over or head over to this construction site that it tells you to go to you can either shoot up all the construction workers and armed guards or you can find a construction hat somewhere and you don't have to worry about that and they will think that you are one of the employees once you put on a hard hat or or take out all the guards you need to find the actual cutter which will be in one of the bags i found it first try but once you collect it all you need to do is just head back to the kasatka when you are there we are finally ready to start the big heist now don't panic this is simple if you follow along with what i'm doing there are different ways to do this but i personally like to do this one just because it's a good fast easy way to do it you can pause the video here if you need to to see everything we have the approach vehicle is the long fin infiltration point is the main dog uh, compound entry point is the drainage tunnel the escape point is the airstrip and the time of day is well daytime if you're in the nighttime it's harder for the guards to see but it's also harder for you to see now you'll start it up you'll drive there on this boat but do not just go there head on you're gonna want to turn left and head over to the airstrip you're gonna want to park your boat where i showed you and once you get here you're gonna want to run over to that warehouse with the red doors on it but watch out for this guard you're gonna want to take him out when he's as far left as possible because there will be someone in a car that finds his body then once you take him out you will head inside of the building and this part's pretty easy you don't need to worry about any guards in here so you'll head over here get inside of this forklift drive over to this box and pick it up and then you need to drive it to this fence but just make sure to park it next to the 
left or right side of the door because we still need to get in there. Once the box is lifted up, you'll hop on top of the forklift and then you'll hop on top of the box and then up and over inside of this cage here. Once you have done that, you will burn the lock and then go and collect the green stuff first. And this is only how I recommend it. And then you're going to want to jump out and hop off that edge. Then get inside of this cage that we didn't block up earlier. Burn the lock on it. And then you're going to want to steal all of this coat. Now, I recommend leaving a little bit of the bag left for that extra money. But you can just collect the rest of the coke if you want to. There are better ways to do this. But I have no idea how to do those other ways. Or maybe this is just the best way. But I guess we'll see in the end. Finally, once you've collected all of that, head out of the building. Get inside of this car here. And drive over to where you left your boat you may have to swim out a little bit i know i sure did now i know this may look a little bit not worth it it's only at almost 400k but this is not even half of the heist there's still much stuff you need to do and once you collect the madrazo files there will be 1.1 million added to that take now you're gonna want to go to your map and mark this part where that drain gutter was and just drive over there with your boat once there you're gonna want to make sure that your breather is on you can equip it i think by pressing left on the d-pad hop out of your boat once you're there and go down to the the drain and then click right on the d-pad once you get to it and you'll be able to cut it out now i know doing it one by one seems fast but it is not the fastest way i recommend waving it by each edge three to four times eventually cutting all of them pretty quickly just like this sometimes it'll miss one or two but it's totally fine there's no time limit then you'll swim up click right on the d-pad and then this mini cutscene will play now what you're going to do is pay attention really carefully and follow the route i go with this is the best route for the run we are doing we're gonna take this guy out then come over here don't focus on them and just run straight through this part turn left and then turn right and hop over this fence here and carefully go up these stairs and make sure this guard right up here is not looking at you you want to wait for him to turn around then wait for him to go all the way over here and then you can take him out because if you don't a juggernaut will come by and find his body then eventually you'll come around here take this guy out and just keep going up these stairs and as you go there will be more and more people coming after you but only two or three after that last guy you can either do a melee attack or shoot them i keep messing up both of them so luckily i got a suppressor if you're lucky enough the guards that you killed will drop keys which will be very crucial once you get to this room here you're gonna want to open this safe here that has a painting on it collect whatever is inside looks like it gave us about 60k then you're gonna want to pick up this key card on the desk here after that you can go through this door with the blue halo in it but if you want this to be easier you'll go out this door go down two flights of stairs and what you're going to want to do is look at your mini map and make sure that no guards are near you because you're going to want to jump down there so just make sure that juggernaut or any type of guard down there is not near you or around you when you jump down so i just patiently waited for him to pass after he turned that last corner i just jumped and this will not kill you i promise now you're going to want to turn left after that jump down here and use that key to unlock this door here and the reason we're going down here is because it'll make it so you only have to do one fingerprint hack instead of three now this fingerprint hacks pretty hard to me at least because i kept getting really confused because this was my first time doing it actually which is weird because i've been playing gta for over a couple years now but I, it's probably because i've restarted accounts like six times anyway once this is done this door will unlock and there's not really a time limit i mean obviously there is but I think you can just retry it. Anyway, you'll open there, come through here, and then Pavel, he will send you a code that you need to use for this safe. Now, if you've done stash houses, you'll know how to do this, but instead of just switching over to the next number, you have to actually confirm and click X after you find your first number in order to get to the second one. You can't just go left or right. As you can see, you'll click X and enter the next code. So mine was 9276. 17. After that, you will open the safe, take whatever's inside, then you will go back out the way you came, then you will turn right and head back up these stairs, then you will go through this doorway here, and then you will hop over this fence, and then turn left and go back up this flight of stairs, and then you're just gonna wanna book it as fast as you can outside of the guard's sight cones, and then just head over to this yellow halo and click right on the d-pad as quick as possible. Even though that guard is coming near you, it'll eventually trigger this cutscene, and you won't have to worry about anyone behind you. Okay, follow 
this route I do. You're going to head over here, and then once you get there, there will be a man on a motorcycle you need to take out. After taking out the guy on the motorcycle, you're going to want to head up this road where this helicopter is and take out this guy also with a headshot, but you should have been also taking all these guys out with headshots. After you take that guy out, down this road, there will be a guy in a car, and if you don't take him out, he will find the body. So once you get there, you're going to want to go off this little knob thing on the map. It's pretty easy to find. You should be able to find it if you go into your mini map, drive off of it as fast as I could, and then swim away as far as and as fast away as I could. Once you swim far enough away, all you have to do is wait because then the heist will be over. Playing this big long cutscene, but it was so worth it and this is honestly is a very fun heist to me, it's just the setups take a long time. After that, you'll get a good amount of RP and job points, but I don't know how much money you'll get, but I ended up getting 1.4 million and then for some reason, I think it was a first time bonus, I got an extra 200,000, bringing me up to about 2 million and that is where I'm going to end off the video. I hope you all enjoyed that guide. Let me know down below in the comments if you want an advanced heist setup guide, no cuts or anything and let's try to keep reaching our goal of 500 subs and yeah, see ya.